I don't believe that there are many people that are going to end up in court uh, over demonstrating God's truth and love in the public arena, but it could happen. When those kind of cases come to court to, to find out if you violated the Establishment Clause, they ask three questions that have been come, become known as the lemon test out of a case that took place back in the 70s. And the first question, is there a secular purpose? Is there a secular purpose? That's why it's, it's to totally legal to have a Christmas concert uh, in a public school. Why? Because there's a secular purpose. We're studying the music of a, of a particular era or... or a, studying uh, components of music. They may just happen to be Christmas carols. Does it advance or inhibit religion? Does having a Christmas concert necessarily promote r Christianity? Not necessarily. Does it inhibit Christianity? Not necessarily. So it has passed that muster. And the third one, is there excessive governmental entanglement with religion? Now keep in mind, the courts have said all along, there can be some entanglement. It just can't be excessive. That, that's why for across the nation, public school buses transport children to Christian schools all over the place. Uh, when a public school gets federal funding, they are required by federal law to go to the local Christian school and say, would you like some? Uh, and, and some have taken that to court. How can the federal government be supporting Christian schools? Well, the courts have said there's not excessive entanglement. Christian Educators Association International is a professional association for Christian educators.